We've made it to January. And a new kid has arrived. I feel like at this point, more of a kind of wonder kid rather than a rebuild. However, momentum's gone our way. So let's see what's been happening. Hey, how we all doing? It's me, Edinburgh FM, also known as David. You can call me whatever you like. You can call me, hey you, and I'll accept that. I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to another episode of Rebuilding Arsenal, Season 3. And you guys know you've got the potential to be having this for another season or two. So why not just let me know? Um, so, main things that have happened since you've been away. One, formation's changed. I've got a striker again that I like using. That's all I'm going to say on that. Two. Form's been patchy. At best. Three. The World Cup's been England didn't win it, I don't think. Four. And this is my favourite one. Giant transfer one has been. And I have... How do I put this? I've hoovered up one of Europe's most desired talents. And no, it's not Haaland. You all know he's at Liverpool. And you'll be probably seeing him today as we play Liverpool away. So today we've got Liverpool and Chelsea away. It's going to be fun. But first, recent fixtures. And we'll start as well as do with the Cups. Peter Overham. Smash Derby. Then we started our FA Cup. Journey we bet Birmingham. Pedro got himself a beautiful hat-trick. We played Wolverhampton and we ended up going on penalties. We didn't even score a single one, which is unfortunate. But we played Bournemouth in the next round and we got a 2 0 victory. And that was in the FA Cup, not the next round. Which sets us up with a beautiful tie against our pool later in this month. However, league time. Now, league's been good to us this year. But let's start with the Europa League. Come on, I did say a league. And you can't be mad I didn't specify a league. Well, you can be, so I do apologise. But look at this. Our group, we went absolutely unbeaten. We were scoring for fun. Uh, what's that? 4, 5, 10, 14, 16 goals in four ga uh, 6 games. So we're averaging over 3 goals a game. Brilliant. We put 9 past Feyenoord. And I like Feyenoord, but hey. Now, I don't know who we play in the next round because the way it works now is the bottom eight teams, no, sorry, the third placed eight teams in the Champions League drop down to play the second placed eight teams in our league and then they join us. So it's like a 16 team playoff to go into another 16 team playoff. Simple as that. But the fact we went unbeaten, that deserves a like, share, and comment, don't you guys think? But league form now. And it's been interesting. Not gonna lie. This is where you've seen us, right? Beautiful win. Two losses. A win. A loss. A win. A loss. That loss really hurts because I could have fired us straight up. Um, then we played Tottenham. Better him 6 1 away from home. Oh, that was special, that. Then we've just been good. Look, I went over Tottenham. 3 0 went over West Ham. 3 0 went over Burnley. And then we drew against Newcastle, and it's annoying. But we went and got revenge on Wolves. And Jack Harrison got a goal. Kyle Jorge got a goal. Jorge is finally starting because, like I said, I've changed formation. But what does that mean for the league? Well, the league looks like this, right? We're seventh fourth. The Arsenal spot. Now, we do have, what's that, two games in hand on Everton. I always look at them as the sort of closest because of the... The games with, no, wait a minute, that's four games in hand we've got ever, and wow, so we've got 12 points we can make, so we can get up to 47 points potentially. It's interesting. Chelsea um, are really our nearest and dearest competitors. They've got four games in hand as well, so yeah, that's what I'm looking at, right? That's what you've got to look at. But well, that's that done. That's by the by, okay? I've just almost minimized something there. My bad. But let's just take a pause of the cause, right? Pause for the cause. Let's go see 
to change your transfers. No, I'm trying to remember off the top of my head, right? Don't know if you've seen that, but Runar's gone. So January wise, Ben White is away on loan A West Ham. He's no good enough for me anymore. Cedric gone, five and a half million. These two are youngsters that we're never going to make it, so they're gone. One player in. One player's all needed. He's been lined up since last January. He's a free. From Borussia Dortmund. Ladies and gentlemen, I bring you. Yosafa Maikoko. Can't believe I've actually got him. Now, obviously, if you've played FM this year, he's the boy, right? Simple as that. Come in. He's only made four. Some appearances in the league. One in a cup. I'm easing him in, right? Simple as that. You don't want to rush a player like this in. And the reason I say that, if you look at him, good. So he's 18, right? Dribbling 15. Finishing 16. First touch, 16. That's brilliant. Passing, 13. Long shots, 13. He's brilliant. Now, that's as a winger. What's his key attributes for up top? 15, 16, 16, 15. 13, and then you look at those physicals, the only one that can be really worked on to be any much better would be that jumping reach. So, got him in. Like I said, I should be staying here for another season, so I'm glad I've got him in. But now, boys and girls, I believe it's time to go and play Chelsea. I'm probably wrong, it's probably Liverpool. Who knows? See you guys in a sec. I was wrong. It's Liverpool. <laughs> right, so let's get this bashed out, right? In goes Livakovic. You know he's going to be there. Tierney's at left. Torres, Saliba, Menino, Torreira, Gravenberch, Gongalves, Saka, Nandes, Musila. Oh, wait a minute. We're not strikers. Nope, I've decided to go with a striker now. I felt like having Mikoko, Musila, and Jorge. We've got three guys that can play striker really well. Let's go with that. On the bench, Leno, Bellerin, Smith, Mikoko. Maitland Niles, Party, McNeil. I've got to say, right, these boys are stepping it up. You've got a guy on the bench like McNeil, he's coming on doing absolutely amazing. Smith wrote, if I play attack mid centre, he'd be first choice. Simple as that. He's seen that, but I don't, and he's a great option to have coming off the bench. He scores for fun. Saka stepped up as well, by the way. He's now four and a half star rated. Shows how good he is. But I've got an absolutely amazing team there. Now, just so he's no right. Now, all these players, Leno wants to go, Bellerin wants to go, Maitland Niles wants to go, right? So, there are three players, I've probably got about 100 million sitting there. But, do you know what? That's not for now. That's for in the future if we go one more season, two more seasons, however long you want. Now, let's go to Anfield. So, we've got our first highlight here, and they've got their first goal. That was far too easy. I was going to say before this, I'd be happy if we came away with a point from these two games, but right now, I kind of want the six points. I'm not going to lie. Hmm. Give away an early goal, and I don't like that. I don't like that whatsoever. We're dominating them. Look at that. Shots four. They've got a corner here. Well on. Right, so I'm just going to... But I demand more, right? I know someone's probably sitting there watching us going, nah, that's risky. Then he did demand more, but I've got a feeling, okay? I don't know what the feeling is, but I've got a feeling. Hmm. We, we, possession's quite equal. We're doing more passing than they are. Right, okay. Okay. Right. Boys and girls, I'll see you for the second half. Let me go figure some stuff out. Turns out I didn't want to figure anything out. We've kept the same team, kept the same formation. However, I do think Nandez needs to come off. But we'll see after this highlight. Saka, Torres. Pau, brilliant. Tierney, brilliant. Pedro, Nandez. Masiwa, ooh, okay, right. We make a... Um, yeah. We bring on Swift roll. Saka's dropping back there. And Dwight McNeil's coming on in there, right? Simple as that. You know, you're saying, well, why are you bringing off your, you know, your captain? I love Tierney, but he gets knackered too easy. It's simple as that. 
Can I show you a bit of encouragement? Okay, see if that works. I'm running out. And we see all you're coming off. Makuku is coming on. Lobbing it would bring him on. He might get his first goal for us today. I'd love, I'd love us to get a late goal. It doesn't look likely though, does it, boys and girls? I don't think it is. But one highlight in the second half and one in the first half. There you go, Joto, for him. Put it wide. I don't know how that's a highlight. Alright. Sorry about that. Um, let's go to Stanford Bridge. Right, Stanford Bridge tonight, and there's been a bit of rotation done. Leverkovic and goals. Tierney, Torres, Saliba. I mean, you know, if you're on the Torres, it's Pau. For some reason it shows us Pau, but it shows us Torres here. I don't understand that. Pereira, Partey, Concalves, McNeil, Nandez, Masila. Who is out? Saka's out. Just, you know, fitness. Uh, Graham Birch is out. Once again, fitness. Bench, Leno, Bellerin, Smithrow, Mukuku, Maitland Niles, Martinelli, Kyle Jorge. Three great strikers. Can we do anything? Well, let's go find out, shall we? First highlight here, and they've got to be Popov. Run out to Mount, Kante, Tete. I don't like this. Reese James. Oh, it's away. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. Good. We're going to get one of those goal line technology? No. I thought we were going to get a goal line technology highlight. Woo! We got lucky there. Right, I'm going to encourage the boys. Let's go! Let's go! I mean, that's all I can really say, isn't it? It's a, it's a hard game. It's always going to be a hard game against Chelsea, especially at Stamford Bridge, right? McNeil. Torreira. McNeil. It's been cut by Mount. Oh, beautiful. Tierney ran out to get up. Not a shot yet, that's disappointing. Mount. Havertz, okay. Livakovic, Saliba, Torres, so all the way out. I mean, Masila, you got to win that, son. Oh, we got lucky there. Did anyone else see that? Was that Canty that done that? We have not been good in this first half. Simple as that, we have not been good in this first half. Oh, right. I'm going to end it here, as in the half, you guys in the second. You may be thinking, right, well, why did you just do the um, team talk? Well, I didn't want you guys to see it, it's a secret. I don't want my team talks going out there. Pedro to McNeil, Pedro, McNeil. Well, oh, see, this is that, oh, they're in now. That's why we've got Lovikovic. Beautiful, one-on-one -on -one goalie. He's a specialist. I, I genuinely believe that if you get Lovakovic and you're saved, you're saved. Nandez on the ball. Oh, is he getting past his man? He is. He's whipped it in. Aaron Ramsdale. Remember, I, well, you guys won't know this, but I was in for him at one point. Now, we've got tennis on the go here, and they've got a goal for it. Lovey. Goodness gracious me. Right. Bubs. Pereira. Off. Oh, Maitland Isles. On. Pedro. Not Dwight in there. Smith Row. Feel you haven't done anything. Jorge. Right, I'm doing the treble sub of Doom. You guys have seen me do the treble sub of Doom before. You know I love the treble sub of Doom. But we're doing absolutely nothing. We've not even had a shot. I am disgusted right now. Like, there's not even a shot. Okay, there is a shot now. It's been on target. But come on, guys. Is this going to be a one print performance in both games? That's disappointing if it is. Oh, my days. I think both games are whimpering performances. I honestly don't know what to say. I'm going to end it here, right? And I'll see you guys at the end of the season. That's just... No words, okay? Uh, just the usual, guys. Like, share, subscribe, comment. I hope to bring a better episode on Monday. Until then, take it easy, have a good weekend.